All right, so I'm just covering Dead Reckoning here in, uh, in this video. Uh, now, Dead Reckoning is really all about an estimate of your position. It's important to understand that it's an estimate. It's not exactly where you are. Um, now, it's the way that it basically works is that you know where you are at a certain point of, in time. If Sorry, if you know where you are at a certain point in time and you move from that position at a certain speed and at a certain bearing, you can figure out where that second spot is. But because of tides and currents, even if you're traveling at a pretty constant speed and um, and direction, because the, the sea is sort of pushing you off course, that's why this is only going to be an estimate. It's not going to be the exact answer. All right, so I'm going to go through a quick example here. A vessel is at point A at 7 a.m. as shown in this chart. So there's point A and that's at 7 a.m. It's sailing at a true northerly direction at a speed of 8 knots. So it's going true north at 8 knots. Uh, this one's easy because it's just going straight up. It's going north. Locate its expected position at 7.30 and 7.45. So it uses this expected idea. Uh, now that means that it's not an exact value. So um, basically you just need to draw this in. So he's heading true north. I'm going to try to be fairly accurate with this. So he starts at point A at 7 a.m. and he starts heading true north. Now what I'm going to do here is just draw in a light line first of all. So he's heading in this direction. Okay, so he's heading up the map. Uh, now locate his expected position at 7.30. Now he's traveling at 8 knots. That's 8 nautical miles per hour. So after half an hour we need to know how far up this line he's going to be. Now we know that distance equals speed times time. We know that his speed is 8 and the time that he's been traveling is half an hour. Okay, so be careful here. Some people write 8 times 30 for 30 minutes, but we need to do this in hours. So that's 8 times 0 0.5, half an hour. And that means he's traveled 4, uh, no, uh, four nautical miles. So he's traveled 4 nautical miles in that time. Now, in order to figure out where that spot is, we just take our ruler and we measure up here. 1 two, three, four. Now it looks like on this particular map that four nautical miles is equal to three uh, centimeters. So then go into the middle of that circle, measure up three centimeters, and there's where we expect him to be at 730. Now because it's just an estimate, we show that on our map by drawing a triangle around it, not a circle. So circles mean we knew where we were, maybe we had our GPS system was working, or maybe we had some sort of transit fix, we could see some places, but now we're out here, we can't see it. Okay, so just label that 7.30. So at 7.30 we think we're there. Now it also asks us uh, its expected position at 7.45. Now we just need to do another calculation here. Distance equals speed times time. We know that its speed is 8 knots and we know that the time that passes, you can do this two ways, but I'm going to do it from 7 o'clock to 7.45. That's 45 minutes. Now if you're having trouble with converting that into hours, you just do however many minutes divided by 60. 8 times 45 over 60. So if it was 20 minutes, you do 20 over 60. Now, when I put that into my calculator, I'll get 6 nautical miles. I take my ruler again, and I measure up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, be really precise here. For 6 nautical miles, it looks like on this map it is 46 millimetres. And then come over here, measure up 46 millimeters. Here we are. Draw another triangle around that because remember it's just an estimate of our position. 
745. Okay, now this one's been fairly easy because we were heading true north, but it's not going to be any more difficult if, say, the direction was... Um, where's my thingy here? If, say, the direction was off in this direction at 310 degrees, the, all of the principles still apply. You just rule a line, and then you travel along that line. Okay, that's our dead reckoning. It's an estimate of your position based upon your speed and the time that you've been traveling.